Okay, a couple of important things to keep in mind. Uh, graph functions and equations using methods of the course. Don't graph a function that can be graphed in terms of transformations. This really means transformations of basic functions. in other methods. Like for polynomials you find the zeros and so forth. For rational functions you do the zeros and asymptotes. The methods that were presented in the course. Uh, otherwise I assume that your graph was copied from a graphing calculator which gets no credit whatsoever. And you need to show how you use the transformations. You need to show how you reason out the graph. Okay. Uh, review your homework. Okay, I've had questions already of, uh, um, you know, related to basically, uh, how do I do that? Well, you're going to have to find how you do that uh, because it's going to be there in your text and in your homework. Okay, so uh, and that also I find that you know here at the last minute that uh, some people are not aware that there's a text. Uh, there's a perfectly good text and it's the very first thing you see at the top of the front page for your course. Text. Okay, um, so you should read the text. Now it's getting a little late. Uh, so, you know, by reviewing your homework, so if you've done all the steps and done all the work and done things in the manner that it's presented rather than finding some sort of shortcut or getting something, getting online help or something and, and not actually going through the steps on some problems. Um, and, and, you know, everybody's tempted to do that every once in a while. Well, you might have missed something. Okay, and if you miss something, then uh, you kind of need to review it. Uh, also, if you've submitted written work, look at my feedback. If you haven't submitted written work, uh, well, I hope you've been doing everything in, in, in the way that uh, prepares you for the exams. Okay, uh, if you haven't, well, let me know and we'll see what we can figure out. Um, but uh, uh, there it is. If you review your homework, you know, get it in mind, you know, what have you done? Part of preparing for an exam is review. Now, when I say review, that doesn't mean you need to review in such a way that you know everything, uh, that you are ready to do everything um, on a time test with no notes. It means learn where things are. Learn where to find references, learn where to find processes and procedures that are going to help you figure out these problems so you know where to look. Now, if, if you have something <coughs> that involves a quadratic function, where are you going to look? Okay, if you got something that involves a linear function, where are you going to look? Um, rational functions, exponential functions, logarithms, and so forth. So you want, want to kind of at least spend an hour uh, scoping out where you're going to look to find things. Um, and maybe making a few notes about the, some of the main procedures. So those are just recommendations. Uh, th those are things that I would expect uh, anybody to do um, in a college course, but a little advice never hurts. Uh, ultimately, you're going to prepare and solve these problems in whatever way you, uh, you choose. Uh, as long as it's done by methods of the course and well documented, then it's valid. Okay, so there it is. Just a couple of warnings there. Just you know, do this and review. Okay, spend a little time reviewing so you know where to look. So when you see something in a problem, uh, you are more likely to recognize that you've already done that sort of thing. Okay, very good and, and good luck.